Okay. So, we're going to put a system out print line here. And <clears throat> our criteria says Uh, so we should say something about please enter fifteen different numbers or nine 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 nine. nine to exit. Okay. So our first iteration of our scan, we'll say scanner next int and um, int number if num is equivalent to nine 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 then we want to say i equals number of entries System out print line. Thank you for playing. Else, if it doesn't meet that criteria, we would say. Distance I equals num. And then right here we'll say I plus plus. Okay, so we got the scanner. And I'm just going to put a statement in here above the scanner. System out. Enter your I'm going to get complicated. Okay, does that make sense? Now think about what I did there. Why would I why would I put a count? It's just informational, right? Because at each iteration it's going to throw up a new message and tell the user, please enter your next number, and your next number, and your next number. Right? And you could do this if you want to. Right? Okay. So, now the next part of our logic. Write a method to get the values from the user and put them into, into an array. Well, I didn't write a method, though, did I? All right, so let's go back. I want to write a method. 
So let's come down here and we'll say public static uh, double array insert number. And give it a double. Dist and this number. Now here's something we di didn't really pay attention to, did we? Any number of double values. So, right here, I don't. I can't really use next int because I can't capture a double, can I? All right. So think about what do I do there? Yeah. Look at that. So now I've got my double. Right. Okay. Things are looking pretty good. So let's come into here and this one here. All right, there. Thank you. So we we've already wrote some logic up here. So let's let's take some of this logic and um, let's capture it. Move it down here. And looks like we need to maybe pass in a a scanner and. I'm I'm just going to take out this. Just say that. Please enter your next number. Okay. Let's look at this the code <clears throat> real quick. The request here. Write a method to get the values from the user and put them into the array. When the user ends, enters 999, uh, the value is not stored and no more input is accepted. All right, so we want to include this logic here as well. This is where it becomes a good idea to move this fella up to here and we'll call him public static final. Does that make sense? Okay. And dist There's any number of ways you can answer this this problem. So I don't think I need this. No. So I took out the extra variable I declared because I already I'm getting it down here. And then we need to return our variable. So we can say distance equals insert 
number, we're going to pass in our scanner. And we're going to pass in the distance and pass in I because that's our, our counter. I don't like my logic. You see the problems with it? So some of this right here All right. You know what I want to do? Let's let's scratch some of this and start over. You're like, oh, Mr. Rogers, really? I just don't like it. I don't like the logic. Let's think about this. Think about what what's being asked of us. The the one part of this write a method to get the values from the user and put them into the array. That's asking us to create a method, right? So let's start with that. Let's say public, static, put it into an array. Hmm. Insert number. All right. Because all of this is asking us is just to insert a number into an array, right? So maybe maybe what we're doing here is a little too complicated. Maybe we just need to focus on keeping it keeping it simple. So we'll pass in our our double array. We pass in a number and we're just going to say um, dist You guys are going to go, what is he doing? I don't know. What? What? Are you? Okay. So. I like that better. Okay. So we're going to say distance from average DFA equals new distance from average DFA insert number. That's better. And let's change this down here. Ah. Or this is going to be our um, index. All right, so you guys understand, I'm kind of like iterating through this in my mind here. You may not be following me completely. Um, when you're using a public static void main method, everything, every method that you create out of that has to be static, unless you're going to instantiate the object, the class that it resides in. And in this instance, it's probably better just to instantiate the class that it resides in so you have a cleaner implementation. So if I put my, my array out here, that means I have to instantiate the entire object to get to it. 
but the method that we want to use is technically it's a mutator method, right? It's changing the content. So in this instance, if I say distance, because I can reference it from here, I equals num or index, right? That makes total sense because you've inserted that number into the array, right? So that means that right here, what we need to do is we need to have the for loop or the while loop. Let's do while just for uh, our purposes. Int i equals zero. We're gonna say from right here that uh, i is less than the number of entries which means that I'm going to pass in my i now there's two ways we could go go with this we could also create a brand new scanner object but there's no sense in that so let's just take scanner next double That's a lot cleaner, I think. You guys understand so far what, what we're doing? Jessa, do you follow along? Yeah. All right, so let's let's think about it from the instant and in, from the perspective that the distance from average is going to have a couple of variables in it, member variables. One of them is the constant called num of entries. One of them is a, an array called distance. And then it has a mutator method down here called insert number. An insert number is just taking the index and a number and it's inserting it, right? Now, with our logic, what it says is this, if the number is 99999, actually is, is that, If it's not that, then we can insert the value, right? That's the logic for it. So let's think about this now. We need to do tell the user please enter a number they enter a number it calls this method down here if it doesn't match that criteria then it won't it won't do it Alternatively, we could put that if logic right here as well, right? We could say if num is not equal to 99999. Did I just delete a bunch of stuff? Yeah, I did. There we go. So we could do it in either place. Think about it. What is it? What makes more sense to you? What other logic needs to be handled here? Evaluating that 999 sentinel value.
if it is 999999, we need to exit the loop, right? So this is where we would say 1 or whoops, i equals number of entries. Right? And right here, this is where we would put the I++. Plus plus. So if the number does not equal 9999, we do the insert and we increment the, the value. Else, I equals the number of entries. And when it hits the condition up here, since I is now equal to that number of entry and it's not less than number of entry, it exit out of the while loop. Right? So that's the first the first process. All right. So if that's the case, we don't need extra logic here, do we? Okay. All right. So I'm going to jump back to the screen now. Okay. No more input is accepted. We've done that. If the user enters 15 values, the array is full and no more input happens. Then write another method to find the average of all stored values. Okay. So, public void find average so how would I do that what would I want to do Say what? So you're going to have to use a for loop or a while loop of some kind, right? So let's let's look at an enhanced for loop. Okay. And I need to iterate through these, right? I need to add them together. So let's create a double total. I don't know why it did that. Sometimes IntelliJ surprises me. All right. So we're going to say total plus equal number there we go you guys understand that syntax the total plus equal is the same as saying total equals total plus number so we've shortened it with plus equal right and then we're going to take total and we're going to divide it by number of entries, right? And we could literally just say we could just literally do that if we wanted to. But that's not any fun. Let's have it return the value. Now we've made our method more expressive. We can pass it, we can tell it to calculate and always return the average. All right. What do you all think so far? Does it make sense? All 
All right, so now we need to call this up here, right? So let's say system out print line, the average value of all numbers entered is and what's the name of my method? There it is. Right. Okay. Well, let's see if it works. Okay, please enter a number. Let's just test the 9999 scenario. It works so far, right? My uh, my message is not very nice. Yeah, so we probably need to say something else in here like, I guess you don't want play huh okay be gone with you yeah, yeah, it's corny but all right so we'll test that again we enter nine 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 yeah, all right. It still ran the average. Let's check our code, our recode requirement here, though. Okay, when the user enters that value, not stored, no more input is accepted. So they could enter nine 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 somewhere halfway through this cycle, and not average any more numbers. So that makes sense. We still want to spit out the average of whatever they, the average of of zero is. Yeah, zero. So that, that makes sense. Okay. So let's go back here again. So my first number I'm going to enter is 999,990. 9, yeah, that worked. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Oops. Oops, can't do that. There we go. You guys are laughing at me, aren't you? All right. I just realized that I was entering all of these, um, yeah, non double numbers. Ah, so it still interpreted that way. But it worked, right? Okay. So, what what's one other thing we need to do? We need to tell the user whether or not they've entered, how many numbers they've entered, right? So that could be a scenario where we want to put int uh, uh, count equals one, and we'll say count plus plus, and system out print line.
you entered count numbers. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. That was a reference to, okay. No one ever watched Sesame Street around here? All right. Can you tell me how to get? I know. Sorry, guys. All right, so we'll just wrong entry point down here. There you go. So you entered eight numbers. The average value of all your numbers is. OK, so that was that assignment. All right. Uh, any questions so far about arrays, about, about what we've done so far? Okay, I will be here for another 20 minutes. Is there one more logic? Okay, so if the user enters 15 values, the array is full, and no more input happens. Write another method, find the average of all. You'll probably want to keep track of how many values are in the array. Finally, write a method that goes through the array and prints out all the values. There you go. Ah, there was still another piece of logic. Allow a user to enter a number of double values up to 15. The user should enter 99999 to quit. Display an error message if the user quits without entering any numbers. Okay. So that's the error message we have to. All right, you're absolutely right. So we got two more methods we need to put into this. So the first one is to display when 9999 is entered and, right. So let's just create a, a method for that. Uh, public void. Uh, what's that? Simple enough. Error message. And we're going to call this method. If. So if the. Let's think about how we're going to do that. Int index. If index equals zero, System out print line. Sorry, you didn't enter any numbers, so we cannot give you an average. So Now, this else condition will only be called if 
the num is 99999 and the index will be 0 if the index is 0 and this is 9999 then it'll call that error message it'll display that out that could work now then the other question here is find the average do we really want to display the average if the index is zero so we can modify this and just say int index actually no don't do that there we'll just come over here to <clears throat> we need to create another value. And I think it's appropriate to do that up here. So, um, private boolean no is no entry equals true is no entry yeah and so if error message is no entry is true So let's make this false then because we're expecting entry and if we otherwise change it then is no entry will be true. So then we could say down here if is if not DFA is no entry Okay, does that make sense? This is a flag variable that we're setting when we pass the error message. If the index is zero, and this only will happen if 999 is in that scenario, right? If 999 is the number set, and the index is zero, then is no entry is true. And if is no entry is true, then we wouldn't want to say the average of their numbers if that flag is, is set. You guys look a little confused. You guys understand? If you don't, it's okay. You guys understand what I'm doing with the variable? how I set the flag. So, while i is less than number of entries, if i is not equal to 15, we go through this process. If the scanner is 999, 9,000, 900, you know what the number I'm talking about. If it is that number, then we're going to say DFA error message I. And we're asking here, is the error message zero? Meaning we haven't even said anything yet, and the first entry is 999,999. If that's the case, then we go ahead and we take the flag, is no entry, and we set it from false to true because it's true there is no entry and if that's true there is no entry then when we get down to this statement here of whether we should display the print average we're saying if no if is no entry is false 
then display it. A better way to do this would for readability would be to say this. Is that easier to read? If is no entry is false, then do this logic. Okay, so that handles the one piece here, the error message. The second one is this last method down here at the bottom. Write a method that goes through the array and prints out all the values and how far it is from average, plus or minus. Oh, how fun is that? Okay, so we know what the average is because we have a method that calculates that. So now we have to go through all of the values in the array and do plus or minus. Is it less than or greater than, right? Does that make sense? You guys are like, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. So here is the method that finds the average, right? Okay. So now we need to create a new method. I'm just going to put it down here beside it so you can see and think about this. Public void find distance from average. Okay, so we're going to use, I think we can use an enhanced for loop again. So we're going to say double in from distance, because distance is our array, and find the average. Now there's two ways we could do this. We could run the calculation, find average every single time. Or you could assign it to a value, and and if it's assigned, then don't don't do it again. But um, that's not part of our our case scenario. So let's just run the run the, the calculation. We're going to say system out print line in. is this is where we have to ask the question so find the average and double TTL equals N minus find the average. Let's, um, let's create another variable here. Double average equals find the average. Ah, quit. AVG. Man, alive. All right, does that make sense? What I've done so far? So now every time we, we, we iterate through this, it's going to spread out how far the value is from the average. Okay.
DFA. Okay. All I'm doing here in this method is I'm calling find the average. And probably a better way to do this is just put up here double average so that we don't have to to do that. Right? And then up here we say double AVG equals DFA find average AVG AVG so now we only call it one time does that make sense so far all right so <clears throat> we'll run it and see By the way, I'm trying to get caught up in grading your uh, your assignments, and some of you I'm sending back messages, so please check your assignments for things that you maybe are not compiling correctly, so you can recompile them and fix them. All right, so we're going to do just a couple of numbers here. Okay, so the average value of all numbers entered is 1, and did we not do a print line? Oh, we did a print F. Ah. How frustrating is that? All right, let's run it again. Oops, type an input match. All right. You guys get the idea with this code, right? Are you, everyone pretty comfortable with what's happening? There you go. So, what do we miss there? Double in distance. Oh, because the last several have never been set. That's why. You guys see that? So it's gone through. It says you've entered eight numbers. The average number of all values is that. And for the first one, it is is that far from the average. And on and on it goes. So it gets to the array entries that are zero. Okay. All right. This is a kind of a complicated assignment, but lucky for you that I've done all the work for you. And all right. So when you guys go back and you're parsing through this video later, 
to get the um, the good parts. Okay. Think about the names of the methods and the variables. Try to make it make sense for you. Okay, because some of this I think you could definitely improve on. And as you iterate over the code, you'll find places in it that you're like, it just doesn't feel right to me, the name, or or I think I can make this better, or make the the label stand out better, or the message better. Just take your time with it. All right. You guys have a good weekend. And I will see you Tuesday.